Hello and welcome back. Today's video is going to be an eyeshadow palette declutter. I do not do these videos very often and I don't really declutter my makeup all that often. I've talked about in several other videos that in the past I did go through a phase where I was kind of decluttering a lot but then I was just buying more and it ended up being a vicious cycle so nowadays I am very very careful with what I get rid of. I am on a low buy this year and honestly it's going really really well and I've had very minimal urges to shop therefore I feel comfortable letting go some of these palettes I've wanted to declutter for six months or even more so this is not a going through my collection style declutter because I've known I've wanted to get rid of these for quite some time if you do want to see the palettes that I'm keeping then check out my eyeshadow palette collection video which I did post in December I will link that video in the description box um, because I've only purchased one palette since then so yeah if you want to see the rest of my collection check that out I have a lot of palettes so I have slightly over 100 right now so this declutter will take me down to I think 93 palettes which I know is still a lot and I know that these kind of videos can be a bit controversial if you will um, I'm not saying these are bad palettes I just don't like them as much as others in my collection also in this video I will be decluttering my pan that palette and I'm going to be talking about why I'm not going to be doing pan that palette anymore that will be at the end of the video just because maybe not everybody is interested in that but I am going to continue all my other project pans but the quick story on that is I just want to focus on rotating through my eyeshadow palette collection as I mentioned I have a lot so I would rather do that than try to pan a palette and I'm going to continue all of my other project pans and my using my eyeshadow palettes project pan where I rotate through my eyeshadow palettes and try to use them 20 times each so all of that will be continuing a little bit more info on that at the end of the video and let's get started This palette I've talked about in several videos where I talk about kind of makeup regrets and that is this e.l.f. Bite Size palette and I actually bought three of these when they first came out and I already decluttered the other two. This is the jalapeno one and I do think this is the best out of the ones that I purchased but I don't know it's just so tiny I kind of forget about it it gets shoved to the back. I have other green eyeshadows that I think are better formulated again this is not a bad palette but just compared to what I have in my collection, I have much better eyeshadows that I would much rather use. Right, these next two palettes I actually really, really like, but I do think that the formula is just not as good as it used to be. They're getting older, and I know that could be a little controversial as well when people decide not to use a palette anymore, but it's these two Juvia's Place palettes. I got them well over three years ago, and they're just not performing like they used to. Now I will say the, the palettes here that are in good shape I will give to a friend, but the ones that are in not so good of shape I'm just gonna get rid of unfortunately. These, they're not irritating my eyes or anything like that, but they've become so dry, like really dry and crumbly. This is the Deuce palette, and honestly this color story is one of my favorite by Juvia's. I just ranked my Juvia's Place palettes. I posted that I think hopefully yesterday, um, but yeah, it's it's definitely not it's not performing like it used to. And here's the thing is I could keep using it. There's definitely nothing wrong with it. But when I have so many other palettes that are absolutely amazing, I'd much rather use those. So if I had a much smaller collection, I'd probably keep these. They're just not performing as well. And yeah, I love this one. This is the Saharan 2. It's a beautiful palette, but yeah. I have these colors in other palettes that the formulas are working, you know, much better. So yeah, fortunately these are gonna go. This palette is one actually that I like, but uh, I don't know, I just don't really reach for it. I have these colors in other palettes. It's the Wet n Wild Comfort Zone palette. The only shade in here that I like really would miss is this green here but I think I have colors like this in plenty of my other palettes the rest are good this is actually a really good formula um, but I'm just not reaching for it I'd rather use my other palettes so this one is gonna right. go the next two palettes are by the same brand and that is Ace Beauté and I actually do like this brand I think they have amazing color stories but the formula, I don't like it as much as my other palettes. Again, it's not bad, it's not terrible. Like I said, none of these are terrible palettes, but I just like my other palettes better and I'd rather focus on those. This is the Vintage Dawn. This is something I got in BoxyCharm last year. 
Um, yeah, the mattes are pretty dry. The metallics, with a wet brush, they look beautiful. Again, you know, it's a good palette. I really do like it. I actually really love the color story on this one, but I'm also just not really reaching for it because I have palettes that I prefer the formula. So yeah, I'm, I'm sad about this, but yeah, I think it's time for that to go. This one I bought a while ago. I think I bought this palette over two years ago. This is the Slice of Paradise. This is a beautiful rainbow palette. It really, really is. And I've hit pan on this one. I mean, this is probably one of my most used colorful palettes, but again, I don't know, the formula. I just, I have these colors and formulas I prefer. That's really the bottom line. And that's really the bottom line with all of these palettes is Especially now that I'm on a low buy, I'm not buying much. I've only bought one palette in three months, which for me is a huge improvement. I bought so many palettes last year. I don't know. I'm just not seeing a point to keeping all of these products that I consider good or mediocre, but not amazing when I do have amazing palettes. That's really what I want to focus on. I want to focus on using my favorite things. I want to rotate through my eyeshadow palette collection, which is why I'm going to continue those other project pans. But yeah, is what it is. This one is the Bad Habit Artistry palette. If you've been watching my channel and watched my pan that palette last year, this was my pan that palette. And I mean, I've used up so much of this palette. I mean, I've used up several of the eyeshadows in their entirety. I've hit pan on everything else. This is a Franken shade that I created, and this one's actually a Franken shade too. And I didn't really know what to do with this when I finished my Pan That palette last year. I'm so happy with the progress that I made, and I was gonna keep it around, and I, I have kept it around, but I have not used this once in the last three months. So again, there's just no point. I don't wanna be hoarding things that I'm not using. I'd rather use my other palettes. And this one, I mean, I really feel like I got my money's worth out of this thing. First of all, this was, I think, only $12 to begin with. And I've used up a lot of the palette. I've used several of the eyeshadows to its entirety. And I feel really good about that. So yeah, this one, I really don't mind letting go. This next palette I have talked about in multiple makeup regret videos, like multiple, multiple, multiple. And after a year of regretting this, I'm finally gonna get rid of it. It's the Nabla Coral Cutie Palette. I know people love Nabla, they love their formula, and it's a good formula. Again, it's not bad, but something about this color selection just is not speaking to me. I've used this palette a lot, actually. I have put it in several project pans. I've used it a lot. I don't know, it just doesn't speak to me. When I use it, I like it, but I don't love it. And I've given this a chance. I've had it for over a year and I've probably used this palette like 40 times. So it's not like I've only just used it once. Um, I've used it quite a bit, really given it a fair chance. And I have not fallen in love with it and I don't think that's gonna happen. Next up, we have a palette from a brand that I stopped supporting the brand quite a while ago. Didn't buy anything else from them, but I didn't want to declutter the things I had because I liked them. And that is this Morphe palette. This is the Jaclyn and Hill. This one's the Armed and Gorgeous. I am going to keep my um, original Jaclyn Hill palette because I do actually really like that palette. And then I'm also keeping the other palette in this collection. That's the Ring the Alarm. This one, um, I actually still like it, but I just don't really reach for it all that often. I feel like I have these colors in many other palettes, a lot of like oranges and golds. I mean, there's three gold eyeshadows in one palette. That is so not necessary. I mean, I have, I mean, gold is one of the most common colors other than, you know, warm browns. I feel like we see golds in almost every palette. So this palette is redundant. Um, again, it's not bad. I've actually, I've used this one quite a bit, but you know, I like the other Morphe palettes I have better, so I'm gonna keep them even though I'm not buying anything else from the brand, but yeah, this one, it's not quite as amazing, and yeah, the color selection is quite repetitive. And last up is my Pan That palette. So, I mean, I feel bad at getting rid of this, and I feel bad not doing Pan That palette anymore, but like I said in the beginning, it's just, I want to focus on rotating through my palettes. I have done Pan That palette for five and a half years. That is quite a long time. I've never finished an entire palette, but I always focus on hitting a lot of pan. And yeah, it's something, I mean, I've been, I did it on my YouTube channel for over three years, but it's something I did even before I started my YouTube channel. 
Like I said, I'm gonna continue all my other project pans, but I just don't feel the urge to try to hit pan on eyeshadow anymore. I'd rather just rotate through my collection. Like I said, I have a lot of palettes. You know, I'm perfectly fine panning other categories of makeup because I don't have that much. I don't have that many lip products or blushes compared to the number of eyeshadow palettes that I have. So I feel like I can still rotate through those other things while panning. Whereas with eyeshadow, I don't really feel that I can do that. And in my last update for this, which was February, which was one of the few Pan That Palette videos that I did this year, I was talking about how I really just don't love this formula anymore. And it's only okay and really i've just had that realization that anastasia is not my favorite formula anymore it definitely used to be and here's the thing i've also used this palette a lot i mean obviously i haven't used it as much as that bad habit artistry palette but i have pan on several shades and i was making more progress and yeah this formula is just not my favorite i think i have mattes that blend much better some of these shimmers are super crumbly it's definitely, it's not a bad palette. Part of it could be that also I have had this one for three years as well. So part of me feels like maybe it used to perform better, but honestly, I can't really remember. I'm not sure. I do feel like this one was performing better when I got it, but it's all relative also because at that point I hadn't tried a lot of the brands that I have tried now. So I can't quite say that for certain. I also did post on Instagram, if you watch me there um, or if you follow me there, that there's kind of some like white spots developing in the palette. I don't know if you can see that. Um, most people messaged me and said that it's probably fine, that it could be just like the pigment separating. Um, most people did not feel that that was harmful and it's probably not. But then also I started thinking, well, what if there's even like a 0.1% chance that this palette is getting old, which I mean, it definitely is old. I mean, I don't go by the expirations on the products. If I did that, then most makeup I would have to throw away after one year because that's usually what it says on the label, but I don't know. Even if there's a teeny tiny chance that this could cause me a problem, I really don't want to risk getting an eye infection either. I mean, that's really not worth it. And I wear contacts, so it would be pretty, pretty bad if that happened. So really, I'm more getting rid of this because it's just not my favorite anymore. There could be a teeny tiny chance that something's gone off about the formula. Again, I'm not certain about that. Um, so yeah, and I'm not saying that if you have this palette and you bought it when it came out like I did that you should get rid of it or anything like that. Obviously, this is all personal preference. Something I talk about on my channel all the, all the time is do what works for you. That is the most important. Personally, I don't love this palette to begin with and I don't feel comfortable using it anymore anyway. So, you know, that's my decision. It just it is what it is. We all have our own you know, personal preferences. So I've actually, so I've stopped using this palette now for the last two weeks and it has just been so fun to just wear whatever eyeshadow I want. Again, I'm still doing that using my eyeshadow palettes project pan where I'm rotating through palettes. I'm doing a shop my stash makeup capsule every month. And it's just, it's so fun for me. I don't really feel the need to hit pan on eyeshadows anymore. I did it for many, many years. Like I said, five and a half years of various pan that palettes. And like I said, all the other project panning, I'm gonna continue because actually I really have enjoyed panning like different face products and lip products this year. That's actually, it's weird because those things have been even more fun for me to pan this year, but the eyeshadow palette part just got unfun and not tedious. I did do a project pan tips video, I think it was two months ago, and in there I said, if things are not working for you anymore, you know, change it up for sure. Project panning is supposed to be fun and pan that palette, it stopped being fun for me. And so, yeah, I'm not gonna be doing it anymore. I don't know that I will in the future, but you know, it is what it is and just, you know, a personal decision. Alrighty, that is it for this video. Let us know if you decluttered anything lately, decluttered any palettes. I mean, honestly, palettes are the hardest to declutter. Like I said, some of these I've considered decluttering for like six months or more, but I just could not bring myself to do it. And now that I'm on this low buy, that has helped me so much because I've really kicked that urge to shop and I don't feel the need to go out and replace these palettes. I mean, I also have 90 something other palettes too. So that is it for this video. Like I said, the ones that are in good condition, I will give to a friend. The rest, I will not, but 
that is it. Check out some of my other videos if you are interested. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.